Welcome to this course on experimental design. In this lecture, we are going to talk about the purpose of this course and how you can make the best out of it. So let me start with the purpose of this course. In this course, you would be able to learn about structured experimentation. In fact, we would start with some of the basic concepts of what is experimentation and why it needs to be done. And then moving on further, how do we conduct design of experiments. So that way you would learn the concepts from basic. You would also get a very good hang of how to set up the experiments, how to perform the experiments on ground, how to take the data, analyze the results and interpret it using some of the concepts of design of experiments. We would also talk about how you use mini tab for performing this. If you're using any other software, there would be minor differences as far as the menu is concerned when you are trying to set up the experiment or analyze it in Minitab. But other than that, I don't see any major changes. The target audience for this course are largely managers from product engineering, process engineering and quality management. Why? Because when you're trying to develop a new product and if you're trying to optimize your product configurations or specifications, then it's very important for you to perform structured experiments, thereby you are more confident about your design and you crash the time that's needed for product development. In that context, this is going to be very useful for product managers. As far as process engineering is concerned, process engineering team will need it when they are setting up the process, when they are creating a new process in order to optimize the performance of the process, not necessarily in the context of continuous flow such as chemical process, but even in the case of discrete manufacturing or service industry, where you're trying to optimize the process and perform at a desired level of service, then also you might need design of experiments. Finally, the quality management professional may have problems relating to quality and performance such as reliability, such as defect rate, etc. And they may need to participate with both the product engineering and the process engineering teams in order to optimize the performance. This is useful in that context for them as well. Briefly talking about the curriculum of this course, we will start with the basic concepts of what is structured experiment? What are the different types of experiments? What are the different phases of experimentation? And of course, if you're already familiar with DOE, you would know that there are a plethora of terms. So we would expose you to all those terms in detail. And then we would get a little hands-on. We would perform and analyze experiments relating to full factorial, fractional factorial, and finally, Taguchi designs. As far as the structure of this course is concerned, it's largely case study and scenario based. So we're going to start with some real life scenario across various sectors, and then we will move on to solve that problem. And then we would explain the concept, the theory, etc., along with it. And thus you would find that it's more practical and not very theoretical. Of course, it's going to be demonstrative because we're going to show you how to perform the experiment and analyze it and exploratory because I'm going to share all the case study files with you that I'm going to use and extra files as well. So I call them either the class files or the practice files. You could play around with them and that will give you more confidence to use these tools yourself. Now, how do you make the best out of this course? I would say practice, practice and practice. Concepts relating to DOE may look very easy at the first shot, but if you don't practice or use them on long run, it might evaporate. So the best thing is find an opportunity to apply them and never stop learning. If you want to understand the concepts of DOE, it may be good for you to know a little more of the other concepts such as descriptive statistics, exploratory statistics, hypothesis testing, regression analysis, etc. 
A good black belt course should help you. I will share more details in the resource section about that. So with that note, wish you a very happy learning. Feel free to contact me if you have any clarifications. Thank you.